the G500 system is built of line replaceable units. These are GDU 620 PFD and MFD, GDC 74 AAR data computer, GRS 77 attitude and heading reference system, GTP 59 temperature probe, GMU 44 magnetometer, an optional GNS 400 series or GTN 600 series radio navigation system, and an optional GAD 43 or 43E adapter. The Garmin Magnetometer Unit 44 magnetometer collects magnetic field information and sends it to the GRS 77 attitude and heading reference system, which determines the magnetic heading. The magnetometer is powered directly by the AHRS. The software version installed in the GMU44 must be 2.01 or newer. The displayed schematic showcases the required and optional equipment in the G500 system and the communication between its different components. Turning the outer MFD knob selects the MFD page group and turning the inner MFD knob selects the specific page within the group. Pressing the inner knob turns the selection cursor on and off. If the cursor is on, turning the outer MFD knob moves the cursor on the page and turning the inner MFD knob selects individual characters or values for the cursor's highlighted location. This allows entering data. The easiest and safest way to move the aircraft forward by hand is with the use of the tow bar. When handling the airplane with the use of a tow bar, make sure to engage the locating pins in the appropriate holes in the nose will strut. Use the sliding strap to close the arms of the tow bar. Use DA20C1 tow bar which is a part of the aircraft standard equipment. For short-term parking, position the airplane in a headwind direction. Engage the parking brake. Ensure that the wing flaps are in the retracted position. And choke the wheels. When transporting the airplane on the road, you should use an open trailer. Secure all the airplane components to prevent them from moving during transportation and store them on a cushioned surface for additional protection. Secure the fuselage in such a way that it cannot move in any direction. The fuselage should be standing on its wheels. To avoid damage to the propeller, make sure that it has sufficient clearance from all sides. The nose wheel is a castering wheel. It is sprung by an elastomer pack and it has a detachable fairing. The castering wheel is not connected to the pedals in the cockpit, and hence it is not steerable. When the force is applied, the wheel can deviate from the center line, up to 64 degrees to either side. The wheel comes back to its center position, when the force is removed. The caster angle is limited by the stop plate. To make a turn on the ground while taxiing, brake pedals located in the cockpit are used. The left pedal is used to steer the aircraft to the left. In the same way, the right pedal is used to turn right. The elements installed in the power plant are the top and bottom cowlings with air intakes, the engine mounting frame, which connects the firewall, and the engine shock mounts, the electrical harness, the GFRP air intake attached below the engine, the engine drain pipes, and the heat shield protecting the fuel pipes and electrical cables. The heat shield is not visible with the engine installed in the airplane. 